My father was a meteorologist in Bayern of Physics and my mother was graduated. But they are uh, very progressive in their thinking and they raised us as no different uh, to any male children of our time. And we were inspired by them and we were uh, encouraged by them to take up uh, whatever we feel like. But since my father was a physicist, he wanted us to be scientists. So me and my eldest sister become, uh, I mean, chose science, whereas my middle sister chose arts. Uh, but uh, I mean, my father didn't. Uh, he wanted us to be scientists. At the same time, he was not very assertive in that way. But I myself wanted to study physics like him because he was a physicist. Uh, so I applied for after high secondary. Uh, I applied for physics to Jadavpur University. But at the interview, I got admit, uh, admission in physics, but at the interview, uh, uh, there was uh, professors from all faculties and a professor of geology told me that, uh, no, I think someone asked me from there, I, I was not sure then, that what is your, um, I mean, next to your study, what you, you love to do best? So I told them that I like traveling because my father was in transferable job. We went to Nepal in our childhood and other places to Assam and uh, we traveled many places. So uh, I wanted, I just said that I like traveling. So he said that in that case, uh, why are, are you studying physics? In that case, you will be in lab all the time. Whereas if you study geology, you can travel during your study. Not only that, during your career also, you will be traveling a lot, be able to travel. So I said, okay, fine. So I just uh, strike up a uh, stroke of uh, physics and wrote geology. My father was not very happy. And I was also not sure about uh, what is geology. I had vague idea about geology. But later on, I uh, sort of found out. My father told me that it's more suitable for, um, not not really suitable for girls. But anyway, you can try. And I also thought I will try for one year. And if I don't like it, I will switch over to physics. But I liked it and never regretted it. I liked it so much, and I liked the outdoor field work so much that uh, I never regretted that. So that, that's the beginning of my study of geology. You know, when you are a student, uh, you have too many ideas, but not, uh, and you are at the crossroads. So <clears throat> since after geology, after my MSc, I started my PhD. And while doing my PhD, before completion of PhD, I uh, sat for geological uh, examination of, uh, of all, in, all India government service and uh, was selected for that. So I decided to join Geological Survey of India. But at the same time, I wanted to finish my PhD. So after I got a posting at Geological Survey of India, uh, I got, um, I was able to submit my PhD thesis and got postdoctoral fellowship. And after three years of service in Geological Survey of India, I went abroad and did my postdoctoral at Imperial College uh, with a very prestigious scholarship uh, called uh, Royal Commission for the Exhibition of 1851. <clears throat> with that scholarship, I did. Uh, field work in Scotland and did my uh, PhD work, uh, postdoctoral work. And, uh, but after that, I was uh, again got a chance to work uh, for uh, with a geodynamics, international geodynamics project at Uppsala University, Sweden. 
and uh, spent two years over there. After that, I returned. After five years in abroad, I returned to GSI. And then I found out that uh, it was a wrong choice. Uh, I preferred academic atmosphere. Because in GSI, you have to do what you are told. And soon I was uh, feeling very restricted and uh, I had problems in fitting me into that kind of atmosphere. And it was, uh, I suppose, a setback. And, but fortunately, I could decide almost, uh, I mean, after, after a few months, few, after two years of working there, I could see that I cannot continue like that. Uh, so I have to change. So I changed over to, a la fortunately, I got a lectureship at Jadapur University and I joined Jadapur University Living, Living Geological Survey of India. So maybe that was a real decision of changeover to leave uh, a little lucrative job. But at the same time, I was not happy there. So it was a good decision and I joined academic institute and uh, and was free to do carry on my research over there. I think they no, don't need to be Sudhita and Dukta. They ha must be themselves. Whatever they are, they are in their field. Whether she's a dancer or a scientist or a writer or a uh, whatever uh, she is. She has to follow her own dream. She has to follow what her heart wants her to be. And of course, work hard, have a goal, work hard. And always remember that there is no option for hard working. And never get uh, upset about temporary setbacks. Uh, there always will be some way out. <clears throat> and finally, if you want to win, you will win. That will be my advice to all the youngsters. It will be uh, my first glimpse of Antarctica. It was, uh, you know, it was a bright day. And when we arrived there, it was a shining white vast expanse of ice desert with a blue sky. <clears throat> some penguins over here and there and that scene has really sort of imprinted in my mind forever so that was the first uh, uh, you know amazing moment in my life I can say maybe but I think you know all these uh, stories of our Purana are very beautiful stories and uh, they have their own logic uh, when they write those stories and i take them as it is and i love to read them but don't try to find any reality in them or interpret them that the science is not correct or logic is not correct or find too much in it also i mean uh, these days there are lots of uh, attempt to interpret them as scientific endeavors but I take them as my, as an enjoyable read and I take, read them as it is and enjoy them that way only. I think, you know, uh, we are very fortunate, all of us, that uh, we could study what we wanted to study and uh, got the opportunity to study and uh, almost could fulfill our dreams. But very, there are a large number of girls in, in India that they don't have this opportunity. So I think in a, all the time we should remember that large number of girls, girl child, who didn't have proper education, didn't have the scope in their life to become something which they want to be. 
and uh, i would like all of us to always to remember them and do something for them that each and every every child in india especially those girls uh, who have so much potential to become something have their opportunity and be what they want to be Nandini Nandi Pamiri Vishwa Vinodini